I'm John, your teacher. In this video, we'll learn eight phrasal verbs for location. Let's go. Number one, pick up. Can you get some groceries from the store later? Sure, no problem. Just send me the list. I'll text it to you right away. Great. I'll pick everything up on my way back from work. I'll pick up some groceries from the store. To go to a place and get something or someone. I need to pick up my dry cleaning on the way home. Can you pick up some milk from the store? She picked up a few books from the library for her research. Number two, drop off. I need to take this package to the post office. Do you want me to do it for you? I'm heading that way. That would be great. Thank you. No problem. I'll drop it off for you. I'll drop off the package at the post office. To take something or someone to a place and leave it there. He dropped off the kids at school before going to work. I have to drop off my library books today. Can you drop these returns off at the Amazon store? Number three, look around. This museum is huge. Yeah, let's take our time to explore. There's so much to see. This exhibition looks interesting. Let's start here and then look around for more cool stuff. Let's look around for more cool stuff. To explore or inspect a place or area. They spent the afternoon looking around the city. Can I look around your store? I want to look around the area before deciding on the house to buy. Number four, settle down. I think I'm ready to stay in this town. That's a big decision. Are you sure? Yeah, I've been moving around a lot, but I think it's time to settle down. It's an important decision if you want to start a family. I'll settle down here and start a family to establish a permanent residence. After years of traveling, he decided to settle down in Spain. They settled down in a small town after their wedding. I'm not ready to settle down yet. Number five, drop by. If you have some time later, you should come see my new house. I'd love that so much. I've been waiting a long time. Great, I'll prepare some snacks. I'll drop by around noon if that's okay. 
You should drop by and see my new house. To visit someone's house or another place for a short time. She said she might drop by later. Why don't you drop by for a coffee sometime? He decided to drop by the office unannounced. Number 6. Show up. Oh, wow! I didn't expect you to be here. Well, I wanted to see you. That's so great. I'm so glad you showed up. It wouldn't be a party without you. I'm glad I came. I didn't expect you to show up. To come to a place, especially unexpectedly or in a way that's not planned. He showed up at the wedding uninvited. They didn't think she'd show up to the party. If you show up late again, you're going to be in trouble. Number 7. Come over. What time are you free? Probably around 7, but I'll let you know. Perfect. Then you can come over around 8. Sound good? Sure, I can be there around 8 or 9. I can come over around 8 or 9. To come to the location where the speaker is. Why don't you come over after work? We're having a barbecue this weekend. You should come over. If you're ever in the area, come over. Number 8. Stay over. It's getting late. Do you want to drive home or stay here? That's very kind of you, but I don't want to impose. It's no trouble at all. We have a guest room. In that case, I'd love to stay over. Do you want to stay over? To spend the night at someone's house. I'm too tired to drive home. Can I stay over? He stayed over after the party. My sister's coming to stay over for the weekend. Quiz time! Pause the video for each question. Find the correct verb to describe the situations.
Thanks for watching. If you have a question or if you learned something useful, use the super thanks. You can support free English content. Please like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next lesson.